CSB headquarters in Lawrenceville, Georgia. This is CSB News Tonight. Good evening. I'm Ben Fenske. And I'm Crystal Vino. Tonight on CSB News, we'll tell you about new laws that may impact your next commute. And World Cup officials may have a solution to some of the bad calls we've been seeing. But first, Propeller Investments is making plans to expand the Gwinnett Airport in Lawrenceville. Company officials say it will bring $1 billion a year to Gwinnett County and potentially create up to 20,000 jobs. But many residents have different feelings of the matter. They say the increase in traffic, rising expenses, and the roar of larger commercial jets will radically change their quality of life. Put down the smartphone and pick up your license and registration, please. This is what you could hear if you were stopped by Georgia police. Naisha Jackson has more on the new law that could change the way you drive. Texting and driving have become almost second nature to drivers. In 2008, the U.S. Department of Transportation reported nearly 6,000 people died in accidents related to distracted driving. A new Georgia law may help reduce that number. On July 1, 2010, it became illegal in Georgia for anyone to read, type, or send a text message while driving. Driving also includes being stopped at a red light and waiting a turn. Anyone caught violating the new law will be fined up to $150. This new law is sparking heated debate. The texting and driving law is as bad as people putting makeup on reading books going on the road. It makes no sense. I think it's great because my daughter is getting ready to uh, be driving, but I also have a son that will be 18 and he's getting ready to drive as well. So I'm very um, glad that they're limiting that you can yeah. text and drive. Well, we think the new texting and driving law is terrific and it's much needed. Georgia becomes the latest of nearly 30 states to ban texting while driving. Critics say that the ban will be difficult to enforce while the police say they will be observing signs like weaving in and out of traffic and the sudden change of lanes. For CSB News, I'm Naisha Jackson. Law enforcement officials say they will give drivers a month grace period to make sure they are aware of the new law before issuing citations. And coming up next on CSB News, we'll show you a new car that might make gas stations a thing of the past. And in sports, we'll tell you where King James will be holding court next season and highlights from last night's Braves game. Have you ever felt like bringing your lunch to work is a hassle? Are you tired of being hungry day after day? How safe is your lunch? Apparently, oh, not safe at all. Not a hey, what's going on? Do you know that somebody has eaten my lunch for the third day in a row? That's too bad. Sucks to be you. Tell me about it. This has got to stop. Stop the harassment now with my personal chef lock. It works on just about anything, even sneaky coworkers. You'll be glad you did. Thank you, my personal chef lock. I love you. Get your personal chef lock today. Available at a store near you. Welcome back to CSB News. I tell you, I love sporty cars. How about you, Ben? Very much. All right, well, it seems a California co car company is changing the image of electric cars. Take a look at this sporty car. It's a Tesla Model S. It is the world's first mass-produced fully electric car. The car has a maximum range of 300 miles per charge and is engineered to plug into any electrical outlet. It has a top speed of 120 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds. Starting at $50,000, these cars will be available to consumers in 2012. Company officials say Tesla Motors offers the most efficient path to a sustainable energy future. It has been a busy week in the world of entertainment. Tonight, I'll tell you about three of the biggest stars in the world, beginning with a sports icon who tops entertainment news. Silence has a price, $750 million. That's what Elin reportedly gets from her divorce of golfing superstar Tiger Woods. In return, she is never to speak publicly, write tell-all books, or give TV appearances about his flings or the women they were with. Their two children will be with Elin, but split custody will give Tiger plenty of time with them, alone. 
Tiger is not allowed to have any women he is romantically involved with around the children until he marries. This is said to be the biggest payout in a celebrity divorce that has been seen. Eminem does it again. His seventh album, Recovery, reached number one, selling 741,000 copies its first week. This makes six straight number one albums for the controversial rapper, which puts him second behind Jay-Z as the most chart-topping rapper of all time. Ah, baseball. Everyone loves America's favorite pastime. Unless you're Lady Gaga. While attending the Padres-Mets game last night, the eccentric pop star did not disappoint the media. After getting into a shouting match with other fans, she was moved from her home plate seats to a vacant VIP suite. Lady Gaga proceeded to show the New York fans her Mets spirit. You're number one! The suite is owned by comedian and Mets fan Jerry Seinfeld, who stated, she wants the Mets to be in first place as badly as they do. I've got to give an honorable mention to Lindsay Lohan, who broke down in tears in court as a judge sentenced her to 90 days in jail for breaking her probation. Ironically, it's the same jail that hotel heiress Paris Hilton checked into. Coming up next on CSB News, World Cup fever comes down to the final two. And soccer officials may have a solution to all the blown calls in this year's World Cup. Welcome back to CSB News. In a case reminiscent of the Cold War, 10 Russian spies pleaded guilty today in a New York courtroom for failing to register as foreign agents. In an international spy exchange, the spies will now be deported back to Russia. In return, four men convicted of spying for the United States in Russia will be returned to the U.S. Many soccer fans are angry with missed calls made by referees at this year's World Cup tournament. A FIFA official said Thursday they are looking to add goal line referees. They hope to keep scoring issues from happening in further events. The proposed change won't take place until 2014, leaving many fans still feeling cheated this year. And speaking of soccer, the World Cup has come down to just two teams, Spain and the Netherlands. We'll see how these international teams have affected our local soccer camps here in Georgia. Here's Nassim Timble with a special report. We're at the Soccer Academy, where soccer has become bigger than ever. Due to the increasing popularity of the World Cup, soccer fans have made more time to watch on TV in the United States. Over 19 million fans watched the U.S. team compete against Ghana last week. Even though the U.S. team came up short in that match, the United States as a country won in a different way. Soccer, or football, as it is called worldwide, has now secured a fan base inside the United States. We asked an expert how it affected his business. Store-wise, we've seen an increase in sales. With the economy still on recovery time, it seems soccer is a very inexpensive game to pick up. All you really need is a pair of legs and a ball. In fact, it is a game for all ages. Internationally, soccer has always been the number one sport. Now, with the growing popularity of soccer here in the United States, will it continue to play second to the more popular U.S. sports like baseball, football, and basketball? Only time will tell. But one thing is for certain, it will take our youth to make this sport popularity grow in the U.S. and possibly bring a World Cup trophy to the United States. This is Nassim Tindall, WCSB News. The finals of the World Cup will be played tomorrow. Sean Nerney will be following that game and the rest of the day's sporting news. He joins us now with details. Yeah, thanks, Crystal. we got a lot going on. First, some sad news out of New York, this, actually this morning, early this morning. Longtime Yankees owner George Steinbrenner passed away at his Tampa Bay home. The medical coroner says this was a result of a massive heart attack. But a little bit better news, we're going to go to Miami now where the party has been going on for just a couple days. Take a look. Fans greeted their new stars, Chris Bosh and LeBron James, to join, to join Dwayne Wade as one of the most celebrated trios in recent NBA history. 
Your Atlanta Braves had game one of three against the Mets in New York last night. Back-to-back home runs by Melky Cabrera and Omar Infante put the lead at 42. They would not relinquish that. That is your final Braves winners over the Mets in game one. American League Cy Young Award winner Cliff Lee is now a Texas Ranger. This happening after the Yankees and the Mariners broke down their trade negotiations. Cliff Lee is 8-3 on this season. And be sure to catch the final, the World Cup, FIFA World Cup from South Africa. That's tomorrow at 2.30. Spain will be taking on the Dutch. All right, that's all the sports from us. Be sure to tune in tomorrow at 6 o'clock for a full recap on tonight's games, including the All-Star game. Guys, back to you. Thanks, All Sean. right, well, that is our newscast for now. Thanks for joining us, and tune in at 11 o'clock for a wrap-up of today's news, weather, and sports. I'm Crystal Vino. And I'm Ben Fenske. We leave you with the names of the people who have made this broadcast possible. Stay, Stay hot, hot, Atlanta. Atlanta.